Eight and three versus five and six. A team fighting for a conference championship, taking on a team that's just fighting to stay relevant. Of course, I'm talking about North Carolina taking on NC State. This game had all the makings of a blowout win for UNC, and from the very first quarter, it looked like a blowout, all right, but it didn't favor the team we thought it would. In the first half, the Wolfpack and Tar Heels trying to burn off some of those Thanksgiving Day calories. I guess they heard that boxing makes for some pretty good cardio. When these guys weren't literally fighting on the field, they were fighting for yards, and that's a battle that State won early. The halfback pass from Jalen Samuels to Stephen Lewis works to perfection. And that's not where the big plays ended for the Pack. Matt Days runs over and runs through the entire Tar Heels defense. NC State was up by 14 at the half. But in the fourth quarter, the Tar Heels made a game of it. Mitch Trubisky tosses the moon ball and gives Bug Howard time to run under it and run into the end zone. Then on fourth down with the game in the balance, Trubisky goes back to Howard. Oh, no, my man Bug dropped the ball. It bounced right off his fingertips. The ref called it incomplete because it was, and that will be the last chance UNC had. State beat their rivals from Chapel Hill, 28 to 21. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. And until you've been in the arena and fought and laid your life on the line the way these guys do and these coaches do amidst all the <clears throat> BS that's out there, you have no idea what that feels like. And it's tremendous to see the support that these players have had for each and every one of us as coaches and for each other. Proud of them. Mm, that's a lot of emotion there from Coach Doran. I like that. The win today made NC State bowl eligible. That means their seniors get to play one more game before their college careers come to a close. We will hear from those players tonight at 11.